Hi, this is Luke from MGN and welcome to part 2 of the Weapon Mastery Guides that I'm putting together for Amazon's new MMO in New World. MGN was lucky enough to be invited to the closed beta for the game and as such I've gotten some hands-on experience with the Weapon Mastery system. If you're unfamiliar with the concept, essentially the more that you use a specific weapon type, the more points you can allocate into the weapon's two skill trees. And on part 2, today we're going to cover the musket. You'll not be able to select every single skill and passive that um, is in the game for the Weapon Masteries at the same time. Uh, and this is where the difference in characters lies, and where your choice as a player comes in. To that end, we're going to go over every weapon skill tree. So those of you that are excited for the game's launch, and would like to plan out your character ahead of time, well, well you can do that. And if you're just curious about the weapon type that you haven't tried a lot either, well, you can have a sneak peek at the skills and passives that are aligned with that particular weapon. Over the course of the series, we'll be looking at every weapon type that's available and how to accentuate them with your statistical decisions. So if we haven't covered your preferred weapon type yet, or you know a specific archetype that you want your character to follow that there isn't a guide for yet, well, don't worry, because I'm going to do them all. Most of the weapons are already up on the MGN.GG blog, and the videos are coming pretty soon. Okay, so let's get started with the mu musket weapon specifics. If you're wondering what stat attributes you'll need to focus on to get the most out of your musket wielding character, well, they'll benefit most from dexterity, but also your intelligence stat will contribute to the weapon's performance as well. And really it's never a bad idea to grab a few points in constitution, uh, you know, in case something gets close enough to inflict you with harm. You, you don't want to be one shot by mobs. So, those are where you should focus your attribute points, but as far as playstyle, you have a few different options depending on your preference and where you allocate your weapon mastery points. I save a few different options because muskets can play pretty dramatically different depending on what you want to do with that weapon slot. If you're a melee focusing character and you want to be on top of your enemies and want to have enemies on top of you, well muskets are a great additional second weapon option. Why? Because you can use the range of the musket to pull mobs to yourself before swapping to your main weapon once the mobs have arrived or you've gone close enough to follow up with your AoE attacks or just attacks in general. Shoot a bunch of different mobs, pull them in with your musket without needing to invest in the weapon or its associated statistics because it's not where your damage and focus is going to be. It's just there for utility. The other option is to utilize the trap and sharpshooting benefits as your main damage dealing source. Set traps to stop mobs from getting too close and inflicting damage on your sort of squishy range self, and then follow up with high damage headshots. This method requires a bit more practice in terms of dodging, sort of timing reloads, aiming, than using the alternative in muskets just to simply pull for your melee character, but if you get it right, it's some of the most satisfying and fun gameplay to be had in New World. Like every weapon mastery, musket is broken into two trees, like I mentioned, um, that are pretty functionally different. But unlike some other weapons, they can work really well in unison. So don't feel like you're gimping your character by investing a little bit of both rather than just rushing through one tree to get to the later skills. The leftmost tree is referred to as Sharpshooter and focuses on, well sort of as the name suggests, taking single shots to do the most damage possible. The rightmost tree is referred to as Trapper and again the name sort of suggests what you're going to be doing there trapping foes, and just crowd control in general really. It's very, very beneficial to sort of keep you alive while you're lining up those shots. We're going to take a look at the active abilities for the sharpshooter skill tree first, then we'll go through the augments of that tree, we'll uh, swap over the trapper, do the same, and then we'll go through the passives that you can pick up as well. So let's start with sharpshooter. The, the first active skill for sharpshooter is called power shot. Overload your musket with gunpowder, causing the next shot to deal 150% weapon damage. The cooldown for power shot is 15 seconds. Now you can augment that skill with a few options, the first being initial engagement. When you hit with power shot, gain power, causing attacks to deal an additional 10% damage for 5 seconds. Your second choice is called first blood. 10% additional damage to targets with full health, that's good for initiating. The third option for power shot augments is called bullseye. Power shot headshots reduce power shots cooldown by 50%. You don't miss, you get 15% extra. Gotta hit him in the head. The second active skill for the sharpshooter tree is called powder burn. Overload your musket with gunpowder, causing the next shot to deal 110% weapon damage and cause a burn status effect for the next 9 seconds. They take damage over time every second for 9 seconds. The cooldown for powder burn is 15 seconds. 
So now that we are up to some augments for the second active skill in Powder Burn, the first is going to be Backdraft. Standard musket shots deal 12% damage against the target that is on fire, so you follow up, you can get them down pretty quick. The next is called Chronic Trauma. If Powder Burn leads a headshot, extend the burn duration to 13 seconds, it's a longer dot for you. The third active skill under the Sharpshooter tree is referred to as Shooter's Stance. Enter a shooting aim stance to enhance your performance while shooting. Shots deal 100% weapon damage, mobility is reduced to absolutely zero, your re reload time is reduced by 75%. So that's three shots you're getting, 75% reduced reload time, it's great. The cooldown on Shooter's Stance is 20 seconds. As usual, you can augment it. The first of two options is called Shoot More, um, and what that does is it makes the three shots that you can get off in Shooter's Stance become five. That's really good. The next is called Marksman. If three consecutive shots hit the same target, reduce the cooldown of all other musket skills by 25%. That's really, really potent. 25% on your, all your cooldowns, just like that, you just gotta not miss. Alrighty, we're gonna move over to the rightmost tree, which like I said, it's the Trapper tree. It's the crowd control, the CC tree. The first active skill under the Trapper tree is called Traps. Throw a trap that lasts 20 seconds, and when triggered, it causes enemies to be rooted for 3 seconds. It means they can't move. They can still attack you if you're close enough, but they can't move. The cooldown for traps is 20 seconds. As usual, we can augment it with a few options, the first being trapped damage. Traps apply rend to the target, increasing their damage taken by 20% for 3 seconds. The second is called double trap, and as you probably guessed, it just means that you can have a second trap out. The cooldown is still the same once you have the second. Your last option for trap augments is scent of blood. Regenerate 100% of weapon damage done as health whilst dealing damage to trapped targets. That means you get some life steal against something caught in your trap. If you're on low health, pop scent of blood while well, you trap in general with scented blood augment on you're okay. Second option for active skills in the Trapper tree is called Stopping Power. If you're familiar with Call of Duty, you might be able to just guess what this one does. Overload with your musket with gunpowder, causing the next shot to do 120% weapon damage and stagger the target, knocking them back 3 meters. Cooldown on Stopping Power is 18 seconds. We've got two augments for this one, the first being Lasting Impression. Targets hit with Stopping Power are exhausted losing 10% stamina regen for 8 seconds. Second option for augments on stopping power is called Supplementary Repulsion. Targets hit with stopping power are also slowed by 10% for 8 seconds. So, you're worried about something getting close to you, hit them with a ranged stopping power that has Supplementary Repulsion, they're going to be dead by the time they get to you. Your third option for the Trapper Tree active skills is called Sticky Bomb. A bomb that can be thrown over a short range that will stick to anything it makes contact with. After 3 seconds, the sticky bomb will explode, dealing 175% weapon damage to targets within 3 meters of the explosion. Cooldown on the sticky bomb is 20 seconds. As usual, get some augments, the first being Unflinching Walk. Sticky bomb grants the player 40 stamina when it deals damage to an enemy with its explosion. The next is called Sticky Slow. Direct contact with the sticky bomb itself, the projectile, causes the target hit to be slowed by 15% for 3 seconds. So that covers the active skills for both trees. Now we're going to look at the passives that you don't have to activate, you buy it, or you invest in it rather, and then it is just present. The first being Critical Reload. Landing 3 headshots within 5 seconds of one another grants an instant reload. The next is called Cold Shot. Increased musket damage by 5% if you have aimed down your sight for more than 3 seconds before shooting. The third is Greater Accuracy. Accuracy penalty whilst firing from the hemp is simply gone. The next is Ballistic Advantage. Removes all damage fall off from standard musket shots on targets more than 50 meters away from you. The next is Cold Shot Resupply. Standard attack headshots reduce all musket skills cooldowns by 10%. The next is heightened precision. Whilst you're aiming down the sight, all successful hits with your musket grant 2.5% damage increase stacking. This will end when the player stops aiming down the sight, or 5 second passes without the player shooting. The next passive is called hit your mark. 
increased headshot and critical hit damage to targets further away. The longer the distance, the more the bonus, up to a max of 15% at 100 meters away. Next passive is called Empowering Headshot. Unsuccessful headshot grants empower to yourself, increasing musket shot's damage by 10% for 5 seconds. Next passive we're going to look at is Sniper. Adds an option to zoom 3 times down the scope with all musket aim shots. Player can zoom in and out with an assigned key and headshot damage is also increased by 15%. So this passive does a lot. You get an aim and you get a headshot damage increase. Next passive is Weakened Defense. Increase the stamina damage from all shots dealt to enemies whilst they're blocking by 50 and deal 10% of armor penetration to targets that aren't blocking. You get more armor penetration if they're not and you get more stamina damage if they are. The next passive is called Hustle. After a headshot, gain haste increasing your movement speed for 3 seconds. The next is called Energy Burst. And what that does is that if you attack a target that has a debuff, you restore 5% of your stamina. The next is Empowering Weakness. Hitting a target that is debuffed increases your damage done by 5% for 5 seconds. Next passive we're going to look at is Tactical Reload. Dodging attack automatically reloads your musket. Now you have to actually dodge an attack, you can't just dodge in general, but the cooldown on this is 6 seconds. Next passive is Kick them while they're down. Deal an extra 10% damage to targets who are either slowed, rooted or stunned. You can get a lot of those from your trapper tree or if you're playing in a group, they don't need to be yours to deal the extra damage. Next passive is Salt on the Wounds. Damage increased by 10% to targets below 30% of their health. Helps you finish off low health enemies with a shot, just one shot. Next passive is called Back It Up. Walking or strafing movement speed is increased by 10% when an enemy is within 8 meters of you. So if something manages to get close amongst all your CC and shots, well, you can leg it faster. Last passive we're going to look at is Lethal Combo. Increase musket shot damage by 20% against targets affected by any trapper skill tree status effect. It makes it worth investing in. That just about wrap things up for our overview of the Musket Mastery in Amazon's new MMO in New World. We hope you found the information useful in sort of planning out your musket wielding character, whether that's a main damage dealer or just an accessory to your melee. If you have any suggestions, comments, well, we'd love to hear from you on the MGN.GG blog. That's where we have all the weapon masteries now. You can read them before the videos are even out. If you have any suggestions or comments, you know, let us know on those. Uh, we have our YouTube channel, of course, you can reach out to us on there. The new MGN Twitter, at MGN underscore TV, our Discord, we have our own Discord, it's always popping off. You know, I'm going to put links for all these in the video overview, so thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you online in New World.